Top 7 Best Budget Gaming Keyboard in 2022 Through extensive research and testing, I have put together the list of options that will meet the need of different types of buyers. So whether it's price, performance, or particular use, we have got you covered. For more information, I have put links of products in the description. Make sure to check it out. Like the video, comment, don't forget to subscribe, and let's get started. Number 7. MSI Vigor GK50 Low Profile Mechanical keyboards with low-profile switches can come at a premium, but the MSI Vigor GK50 Low Profile, along with the full-size switch version on this page, offers one of the best budget mechanical keyboard experiences and is on sale right now for about $45. It competes well against pricey keyboards and particularly excels in typing. Its low-profile Kyle chalk switches bring back memories of typewriters with its shamelessly loud clicks. We also like the fast response, which made our fingers want to get moving even faster. It's not the perfect keyboard. In fact, we found the stiffer shift key to be a hindrance and the stiffer spacebar to affect our ability to use it rapidly while gaming. On top of this, the accompanying software doesn't download properly at the moment so RGB and other customization is limited. However, this clacker has the speedy switches that gamers need with the design they like, plus a typing experience that made us feel nostalgic and eager to get to work. Number 6. Aki KMG14 The Aki KMG14 $50 was the only clicky budget mechanical keyboard I tested that didn't make me want to accidentally spill something on top of it. The clicks are still pronounced, sure but they are closer to the pleasant pinging end of the spectrum than the unbearable clacking end. Pretty much everything else about the keyboard was also a welcome surprise, given its price. Aki equipped the KM G14 with RGB backlighting and full-end key rollover. It also used double-shot ABS keycaps, which is surprising given how cheap this mechanical keyboard is. Still, the KM G14 comes with a keycap puller to make it easier to swap out the keycaps with something a little snazzier, which was a nice touch and something I wish some other manufacturers had thought to include with their more unfortunate-looking keycaps. Number 5. MSI Vigor GK50 Elite The MSI Vigor GK50 Elite, along with the low-profile version also on this page, is a great keyboard for typing. It's a cheaper alternative to other favorite typing clackers, like the Hexgears Impulse, currently $100. Like the Impulse, the Vigor GK50 Elite offers the excellent Kyle Box white switches. You can also get this keyboard with Kyle Blue switches, so it'll be loud and clicky no matter what. While the plastic keycaps here aren't fancy, they did a great job of fighting off fingerprint smudges during our testing. MSI also included a premium top plate, but skimped a bit on the cable, which is rubber that doesn't have much reinforcement for durability. But this is still a well-priced, albeit simple, keyboard with a premium typing experience. Gamers will miss out on lavish premium features, like bonus macro keys or onboard memory. Additionally, the Vigor GK50 Elite is only available with clicky. Tactile switches that can be exhausting to hit rapidly and repeatedly. Number 4. Havoc kb 487 l The Havoc kb 487 l doesn't fit neatly into any other category but it's such an interesting keyboard that we had to include it here. It's a standard TKL shape, but instead of having the usual cluster of shortcut keys along the right-hand side, it has a number pad. This leads to a have your cake and eat it too design that offers the space-saving advantages of a TKL keyboard, but doesn't actually consign spreadsheet lovers to using the number row. I didn't notice the difference during everyday use. I rarely use either the shortcut cluster or the number pad, but it's almost certain to throw off anyone who's used to a more traditional layout. Have it also equipped the KB487L with durable PBT keycaps that felt nicer than any of the other keycaps I poked, prodded it and pressed in the course of preparing this roundup. They also boast a unique black, white, and orange color scheme that allow the KB487L to stand out among the sea of monochromatically faced keyboards currently available. This doesn't look or feel like a budget mechanical keyboard. Luckily, the KB487L's beauty is more than skin deep. I didn't notice any mispressed keys throughout multiple days of playing Valorant or Counter-Strike. Global Offensive and those games make it pretty easy to tell when you are doing something wrong with the keyboard. Namely by making what should have clearly been a headshot fly off somewhere between the lost cities of Atlantis and Narnia. It still wasn't my preferred experience, but I liked it more than most linear switch equipped options. Number 3. Logitech Keith 145 Logitech is Keith 145 replaces our previous budget productivity pick the Keith 140. It costs about $10 more. 
but adds white backlighting to the keys, which you can configure in one of five patterns and adjust to three levels of brightness. Plus off, for a street price of $59.99, you get a full-size mechanical layout with an aluminum top plate and your choice of red, linear, blue, clicky tactile, or brown. Quiet tactile switch is made by TTC. For $20 more, you can opt for one of the 845-inch models, which use cherry switches, red or blue. The company sent us an 845 with TTC blue switches, and we found them a satisfying substitute over the Cherry MX blue switches in our desk keyboard daily driver. The Logitech Keith 145 also sports an aluminum top plate that both looks good and delivers a more premium feel than you might expect from a keyboard in this price range. That said, if you're used to pricier keyboards with lots of heft, the 1.72 pound weight and plastic shell don't exactly scream high quality keyboard. Still, the switches are rated to 50 million clicks, and the molded keycaps mean you don't have to worry about the labels fading, though we're not a huge fan of the chunky font. Number 2. HyperX Alloy FPS Pro. The HyperX Alloy FPS Pro, currently going for $70, was made with eSports in mind, making one of the best budget mechanical keyboards for gamers. It features a compact TKL design, a detachable USB cable, and solid steel construction that should allow it to travel well. Those features alone would allow it to stand out from other keyboards on this list. But HyperX didn't stop at the Alloy FPS Pro's portability. The Alloy FPS Pro is available with Cherry MX branded linear red or clicky blue switches, and that also helps it stand out from other budget mechanical keyboards. There is nothing wrong with most manufacturer switches, but Cherries are still seen as the best of the best, at least in the mainstream consumer market. Don't worry, enthusiasts, we wouldn't besmirch your Zelios or the new Panda switches from the glorious PC gaming race. HyperX also decked out the Alley FPS Pro with an key rollover and 100% anti-ghosting as well as red backlighting with a variety of effects. All of these features combined led to some of the best and most comfortable gaming sessions I had during the course of preparing this roundup. The Alley FPS Pro was responsive, fit perfectly with the rest of my setup, and felt like the natural choice for gaming. Number 1. Cooler Master CK552 The Cooler Master CK552 is the best budget mechanical keyboard for most. It's a full-size gaming keyboard with RGB backlighting, an aluminum top plate, and a 5.9-foot, 1.8M USB 2.0 cable. It includes a good selection of switch types, Gatter and Brown, Tactile, Blue, Clicky and Red, Linear, which are all said to be able to withstand up to 50 million key presses without failure. My review unit came equipped with Gatter and Red switches that proved responsive during gaming so much so that I occasionally pressed a key I didn't mean to. That also means it stumbled a bit during heavy typing sessions. Choosing a different switch type could help, and Cooler Master makes the keyboard with tactile brown or clicky blue switches too. But they aren't as easy to find online as of writing. Good for gamers and enthusiasts, the CK552 features onboard memory that can store up to four profiles and on-the-fly controls that make it easy to record macros and control the backlighting. It's also compatible with the Cooler Master Portal utility, which offers more granular controls over many of the same areas but isn't as robust as rivals, such as Razer Synapse. Still, this dual approach should appeal to people who don't like to install a bunch of software and those who want greater control over their peripherals. So guys, that's all for the top 7 best budget gaming keyboard in 2022. The links of all products are given in the description, which are updated for the best prices. Subscribe our channel for more videos. We will meet in next video till then take care bye.